it could be further north. Keep watching the forecast. Once that low moves through, however, the wind direction changes to a northerly and it will turn colder as we head towards the weekend. So a pretty unsettled week ahead with showers or longer spells of rain. Some of it could be quite heavy across southern England and then colder into next weekend. Live from London, this is BBC News. There's heavy damage in the Lebanese capital, Beirut, following another night of missile strikes, while in southern Lebanon, Israel's targeted a mosque it says contained a Hezbollah command centre. Meanwhile, Lebanon says its healthcare system is under pressure, with four hospitals in the south closed due to Israeli airstrikes. Hamas says one of its military leaders has been killed in an Israeli strike in the northern Lebanese city of Tripoli. Anti-war protesters are gathering in London, Cape Town and Paris as the first anniversary of the October 7th attacks approaches. Hello, I'm Regine Vaidyanath and welcome to BBC News. Fighting is continuing between Israel and the Iran-backed group Hezbollah as the Middle East braces itself for a possible retaliation by Israel on Iran. Well, in the latest strikes, the Israeli army has bombed a mosque in southern Lebanon, which Israel says was being used as a command centre by Hezbollah fighters. The building was next to a hospital. The humanitarian situation in Lebanon is worsening, with at least four hospitals now closed in the south due to Israeli airstrikes. And the World Health Organization says at least 37 healthcare facilities have closed since Israel began its air bombardment of Lebanon 